My name is Tunde Babalola. I welcome you to Percentage, a program that is established to help us understand relationship and marriage and how we can rate our performances in both institutions. Of course, we know that without relationship, you cannot get the best out of life. You just have to understand how to relate with other parts to be fulfilled as a man. So relationship is essential. Relationship is very, very important to everyone on the surface of the earth. But it's rather unfortunate that some don't even understand relationships. Maybe because we were born in a particular setting or culture or tradition or a religious setting that does not give room for us to really have a clear court of what relationship entails. So I will be deliberating more on relationship today. And I have tagged this episode Understanding Relationship. What exactly is relationship? Relationship is first an art, which means it has to do with your sense of creativity to be able to relate well with man. Or relationship is equally an act because it has principles that must be strictly adhered to to get the best out of life. So we combine these two together to get the full meaning of relationship. So relationship can simply be defined as the ability to combine the art and the act together to relate well with man and get the benefit thereof. Relationship is equally divided into two. The first is intrapersonal relationship and the second is interpersonal relationship. I'll be deliberating more on intrapersonal relationship today. What exactly is intrapersonal relationship? Because if you don't understand intra-relationship, you cannot understand inter-relationship. Intrapersonal relationship is the ability for you to cultivate yourself. That means to understand yourself, your identity. Who are you? Because if you don't know who you are, you will be a disaster in a relationship. You will be a disaster in a marriage. So it's expected of you to know who you are. Number two, you are expected to know why you are here on earth. From my observation and study, I have discovered that most people don't even know why they are here on earth. Some believe they are here as a passing fantasy, forgetting that they are here to fulfill purpose, forgetting that they are here to make a difference in life. So you need to know why you are here. Because if you don't know why you are here, you cannot lead a woman to a success. You cannot even lead a man to a success. Number three, you need to know what you can do, your ability. What can you do? What can you do? If you don't know what you can do, you'll be useless on earth. You'll be useless to the other party. So it is expected of you to know what you can do. If you look at the world today, you will discover that many don't even understand their ability to talk less of what they can do. And as a result of this, Relationships on a daily basis are hitting the rock. Marriages on a daily basis are hitting the rock. We have many divorces. We have many separation all around us because we don't understand or we don't know what we can do. You have been endowed with strength. You have been endowed with abilities. You have been endowed with potentials. So it is expected of you 
to look within and bring the best out of you because your best is what the other party want to relate with. So I advise you to sit down, think properly and bring out your best. What are those things that are hidden within you? What are those untapped energy, untapped power that is called potential that is expected to take you to your next level? I've discovered that as a result of inability to cultivate our latent abilities, many are depending on others for their survival, which is very, very wrong. You are supposed to be self-dependent first before you can relate with the other party. What you don't have, you cannot give. I will continue from here in the next episode. Hope to see you on board again. Thank you very much.